actually me, Devin. I tricked you all. Can you believe it? Oh my god. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. We are loading the fucking game, dude. Oh my god. It's so fucking rad. But yeah, here we are. Um, We're finally going to be doing some Crash 3. And let me tell you, I'm pretty excited to play this one. Crash 3 is my favorite in the trilogy. Uh, anybody who says different, that's their opinion. Fair enough. You guys thought I was going to insult them, but I didn't. I, I, I shocked you all. Do I gotta set the game? God damn it, hold on. Hold the flip on. Gotta set the game to Crash Bandicoot. Hey, do you know it's Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy? You little cunt. Thank you. Sorry about that. Now we're good. It's a big bad mask, man. Everybody run! It's gonna rape your family! Ooh. Uh oh, he's like a blue sperm thing. It's terrifying. Yeah, those goddamn bandicoots, dude. That definitely does not sound like the best. Maybe you need to get another one, buddy. Oh god, his face is like right in me. I don't like that. Get out of here, Oka Oka. You're scaring me. Oh, it's the Time Man! Look at him! Oh, He's like, mm. What's up, Crash? Well, that ruins your day if that happens. He must be stopped. We gotta, we gotta beat him up. We gotta punch him until he fucking dies. Little cunt rat. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button. Oh no, the frog! The oh no! He was just a boy. All right, let me let me check my audio real quick. I know I always do this every stream, but I gotta, you know. Audio devices, test test one two. Okay, everybody can hear me fine. If it's a little quiet, uh, well, boo hoo. I guess you're just gonna have to deal with it. Well, here we are. We're we're here with Crash. Look at him. He's such a happy boy. We're gonna do that secret level after we beat the game. So um. Not today, but tomorrow, most likely. Today, we shall be doing Toad Village. What a marvelous village that is. Why must you always mock in my Uka Uka's like, ugh, I hate this. I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Yeah, I honestly like the little floating head, um... Like, you know, pre level stuff that they do. Like, it was so well known that, like, they reused it in Wrath of Cortex. It's obviously, you know, very well loved by the people. And they saw it, they're like, oh my god, is that, like, the pre level cutscene? I'm literally gonna come, dude. It's, like, so epic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit, a little bit cuckoo crazy today. Uh, I woke up and I had a lot of energy. You know, feel a lot better today, I gotta say. And you know what? Why shouldn't I feel better? I'm playing Crash. You know, Crash is like the best. It makes anybody's sour day a great day. Or sour week, you know? It just saves everyone from sadness. Yeah, um, but this is the first level. This is like, uh, kind of medieval themed. What I like about this game compared to the other ones, too, 
Not just on a gameplay perspective, even though it's the same. The main thing that makes it stick out is like just the fact that the level themes are a lot more creative, you know? Crash 1 and Crash 2, they both had pretty good levels, but like they weren't, you know, super special. They weren't different. Watching this while pooping. Oh no! You're pooping on the scooping! Welcome, cousin. How's it going? Yeah, like I was saying, what I like about this compared to um, the first two is the first two have pretty good level themes, but this one has a lot more because its whole thing is, uh, you know, time travel. So, of course, with its uh, time traveling, you get the opportunity to get more level themes and just more interesting things. Because, like, you didn't see a medieval level in Crash 1 or Crash 2. Yes. Amazing. It shows that you have a lot of dedication that... You would even watch me while you're taking a shit in the toilet. Good, just got done with mathematics. Oh, nice. Oh, are you in school right now? Or is it like uh, virtual school still? I don't know what they're doing now. Is it in person still? Or, wait, is it in person yet? Or is it all virtual? Because I, um... Like, I know some people who, uh, like just got to their senior year and uh, they have to do virtual school so I don't know if that's like a you know countrywide or statewide thing oh my god we did it we even got the jam crash why you gotta do that every time like that's a little weird no homework oh gotcha homework is never fun but at least you finished it that's the one thing to be happy about. Under pressure. Oh. You didn't even let me read the thing, game. Like, how am I supposed to read it if it's like a two-second loading screen? I mean, I like that it is. It's good that it loads faster now, but like, come on. You can't just have a hint if it loads that quickly. There's no point for it anymore. But okay. I I'm not gonna judge. I, I don't wanna make fun of Crash. Crash might beat me up, you know? It's very, very not good if that happens. Alright, uh... So probably out of all the levels, maybe aside from the motorcycle level... Um, I was gonna say this was my least favorite. It's not... It's definitely not my favorite vehicle-type level, but it's... Mm, it's not the worst. It's just a bit eh. Like, it's not bad or good, it's just kind of there. I mean, they reused it a few different times. Like, they made a much worse version in Wrath of Cortex that was just so bad. Oh, wait. No, 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 no! Let me up! I almost forgot my checkpoint crate. But, like, um, the Wrath of Cortex version was, uh, so bad that, like, this one is way better in comparison. Like, they have, like, a terrible vehicle section in it. What's the highest you've been donated? Uh, zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> I've been donated nothing. So I would say that that's probably the highest. But that is a thing you can do. I, I don't know if you can get donations if you're under 50 followers. Because um, there's like a thing, right? Where to get monetized on Twitch. It's a lot better than YouTube. You have to get like 50 followers. And you need three active viewers. Which uh, I'm close to 50. And I usually get almost three active viewers. So I'm getting close to actually making money off of this, but n not the moment. I don't know if donations require that either. I don't think it does, but it might. Oh, I thought you could, like, ram through it, but I guess not. I guess the little speedboat thing lied to me. On my B-Day, I will donate $1. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it if you did. Also, I don't know if, like, uh, I have anything like that set up. I know, uh, like, one streamer who does. But, uh... He had, he had to, like, set that all up. I don't know if, uh... I have to, like, get, like, out of a PayPal or something? Or well, whatever those things are called where you make the money. Either way, though, it's gonna be nice to be able to... Possibly make money on just streaming, you know? Like, that'd be the best way to make the moolah. I will try. Alrighty. Again, you don't have to do it, but I appreciate that you are. Alright. Get all this coral. This coral. No, stop. 
Stop, don't kill me, Pufferfish, please! I need my little speeder thing in order to survive the scary lands of fish people. There we go. Oh, we got the gem here too! Alright. It just goes to show that Crash 3 is actually a bit easier than the other two. Because, like, in the other two, I did get, um, gems without even trying. But, like, it literally feels like I'm not even trying. Like, I'm just getting the gems, you know? And also, Crash pukes it out. That's really his thing, you know? Alright, epic crash. Epic dance, but, uh, we, we gotta get back to the game. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh my god, he's dead! He's, like, he tried to jump in and he... He just flat out died. Oh my god. Have you tried Valorant? Is that a game or is that a like a paying site? Uh, I, I haven't tried it. Whatever it is. What's it all about, cousin? Now these are probably the best vehicle levels in, well, any Crash games. Because, you know, they're simple. You just ride a little animal and you do the thing. They're not really... Gr the greatest, but for a vehicle level, they're really nice. Because, like, you don't have to have the annoying controls of a motorcycle or the uh, awkward controls of swimming. It's just pure and simple tiger riding. Oh, game? I have not. Uh, what's it all about? Or what's the game all about? Give me all the factoids you have of it. And maybe if I'm interested, I'll play it. If it's a cheap game, I'll be willing to definitely uh, get it, but if not, uh, I don't know. It might take a little bit. I know, the second level is a bit harder because they have, um, like, the dragon people start, uh, like, doing weird movements. And you have to, like, get through them. Fuck those boxes, I need a life. I need to get a life, man! Oh my god. Free on PC only? Okay. Um, Apex slash CX Go League all mixed. I'm not usually into those kinds of games, but uh, I'll at least try it. And if it's free on PC, I'll be willing to... I'll do a let's try. I usually do that for games I don't know anything about. Is it a multiplayer type game? Because I know that's what uh, like you know CS Go and Apex is. I just hope it's not Fortnite, because that's... Ugh. It's... Ugh. Don't touch my crystal, Tiny, please! Please, that's that's not right! Stop, you're raping me! Boneyard. Unlock a new path by... Oh, I see, I can't see that! I can't read it! It's like way too fast! so fast it makes me scream whereas in my original playthrough my complaint was it's so slow I've already read it they went like the exact opposite way which hey I like it I like just being able to get to the game so I'm not complaining multiplayer online uh, not to BR alrighty um, if it's multiplayer then it'll definitely be a let's try I'll I'll give it a little look-see and I'll say, wow, this game's really epic. Or, if I don't like it, I'll say, wow, this game is really not epic. <laughs> That's how it goes usually in a Devon stream. Or, you know, yeah, a Devon stream. It's either epic or not epic. Yay or nay. Oh. Surprised they didn't try to go after me right there. I guess because there's like a little gap that he can't get through. It's the only thing I could think of why he wouldn't be able to make it through. Either that, or he's just stupid. Who knows? I can't wait to play the fourth Crash when that comes out in October. It's so fucking close, you know? I, yeah, it's less than a month, so, yeah. Um, it'll be perfect, because, um, once I finish this, I'll probably be, um, really close to, uh, the, like, it'll probably be really close to the new game coming out. Which I will be happy to do after, you know, I finish all this. Which is only going to take two streams, because these games are honestly pretty short by themselves. Like, a singular old Crash game takes two streams, you know? Like, for this, this will probably take an hour or something. 
an hour and a half at most, probably. And then, you know, the second one will be the last two worlds, and then the uh, little extra level, just in case I need to, you know, extend the stream. A lot, lot of stuff I can do. A lot of options. The best game that I've been playing is Dreams. I love that game. Um, it's a fun game, it's got a lot of nice levels, and it seems to get me a lot more people whenever I do them, you know? It's good when you're able to find a game that you enjoy that uh, also gets you a lot of people that stop by. Because, I don't know, it seems to attract a lot of people that, um, you know, have levels of their own. And they're like, Devin, uh, or person, I mean, I want uh, you to try out my level. It's really epic. And I say, okay. Let's see how epic this level really is. And I say, oh, wow. That's pretty epic, but you could maybe do this to fix it. Uh, that's normally how it goes. A lot of them have been pretty okay levels, though. Um, the only thing is, is that I think I've mostly just been the tester, because some of them were, you know, they're kind of like little test things to make sure that the game works right and all. Get away, little Tyrannosaurus Rex thing, please! I'm not tasty, okay? Like, I'm a bandicoot, and I have a lot of fur. Who wants to eat something with fur on it? Right? I mean, come on. Like, all that's gonna do is make your mouth hairy. It's not gonna taste good. I'm really sorry, but I have to go. You're all good. No problem. Have yourself a good one, cousin, and thanks for stopping by for a little bit. Oh, damn it, I missed the gem. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. There we go. I don't think I got the gem. Never mind, I lied. Oh. I could have gotten it too, like it was right there, but like it just fucking left my grasp. Alright, last level of the first world. There's only five worlds in this game, like we're 17 minutes in and we've already finished the first one. That should probably tell you how close we are to being done. Oh, there we go. And again, this level isn't too bad either. I know a lot of people dislike it, but honestly, um... Aside from maybe the controls being a little slippery, it's not too bad. It's got some nice gameplay to it. It's got some nice music. And it looks really nice, too. I'm not really going after all the boxes, but uh, I'm gonna, you know, gonna speed up here. I'm done pooping. Do you feel like it was a satisfactory poop? Do you feel like you were able to get it all out of your system? <laughs> and also, welcome, welcome back. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. It almost got me there. The only thing that makes this level annoying is if you're going for all the boxes. If you're going for that, uh, you're probably going to hate this level. Luckily, I'm not really going for all the boxes, so I, I maybe don't hate it so much. Only only a little bit of dislike, you know? But not, but not the complete dislike. Okay. Fuck. Thank you, Pelican. Uh, I'm just gonna ski away from you. Some of the ski levels are pretty bad, though. Like, there's one that's just like a giant open area that you have to get the gem in. Where's Nightbot? I don't have a Nightbot. Is that a thing you can get? Also, I don't... Actually, I don't think it's nighttime, so... I guess that maybe also is why there's not a night bot. Because <laughs> I don't usually stream at night. Is night bot like one of those things where you could like do little funnies with? Because I know like Discord has stuff like that. Why? Because I don't have it. I just don't. It is not in my uh, current possession. Oh fuck! Almost hit that bomb. But I clutched it. I said, hey, bomb. You, th you think I can get you? Or I think you... Th Jesus, my English. You think you can get me, but I, I get you better. You little noob. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And that was the level. Now we're going to fight Tiger Man. Let's just hope that he won't beat me up. Because that would be mean. It monitors chat and does stuff for you. Oh, so it's like a, like a moderator. 
Usually when I have moderators, I just use regular human people I know for that. He's sniffing the screen with his nose. Whoa. There's like a little cut there. Like, I swear I saw something like pop up while he was talking. I don't know. Maybe it's a little glitchy. Who knows? Yeah. So we got like some Roman themed battle arena over here. And, uh, I guess now it's time for us to pwn the Tiger Man! Oh god. No. Please. Do not stab me with your little trident. I'm just a young bandicoot! S so kale distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I wish these lions would social distance from me so they won't eat me! Oh god! From him. I gotta social distance from him! Oh, shit! Stop getting close to me or I'm gonna beat you up! Whoa, okay. These tigers are not fun, or these lions, I mean. Tiny's a tiger, but these are lions. Clearly a different animal, of course. I don't know how I survived that, but, uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud that I did. Oop. Bye bye! Easy peasy boss. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Throw tomatoes at him! Damn. Well,. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to casually walk out of here. You have fun, buddy. I got the supercharged body slam. For a more powerful belly flop, press X button to jump and then circle at the top of the jump. Who are you voting for? Uh, you know, I haven't really looked into it too much. Like, I'm registered, but I haven't really looked into it enough to make a decision. I like, I like one of those people that, like, waits until the final week, or not the final week, like, the final month, like, look into everybody. You know, like, I like to wait for the debates and junk. There we go. We got the boss defeated. That means, do Biden, please. Who's that? Gee whiz! I like that whole level name. <laughs> it's Gee Whiz, dude! Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Who? I'm what? not a thorn, I'm just a Where bandicoot. Oh. It's very rude Time of that mask to assume uh my gender. And Joe Biden. Heart, Please be more oh, is he somebody else running? Gotta keep in mind, I don't pay too much attention, so I don't I don't really know. I know I know what's his face is running again, but that's about it. Oh fuck, he's kissing me! No! Whoa. See I don't like that. He like that guy just raped me and then he became a man. Does that mean that crash is <laughs> Is that me that Crash is now a victim? Crash crashes to a uh, sue the frog. He's a democratic don't vote Trump. I've heard of a democratic. I know that's a party or something. That's even if I do vote. I'm not. I'm probably not get, gonna even vote. Most likely. I'm just gonna be happy. Honestly, I think everybody can agree when when it's all over, you know. And I don't have to hear about the election anymore. It's like, oh, I want to watch a YouTube video. Check out this political ad for this random guy, you know. I've I've seen it for both sides. It's fucking annoying. Hey, do you know that this person is a threat to democracy? Ugh. Do you know that these radical people are radical? Ugh. It's like, I don't care. Just trying to look at Crash Bandicoot gameplay. <laughs> That's my thoughts on it. 
But who knows? If I look into it more and I like the, the other guy, maybe I'll give him a shot. Who knows? Like I said, I, d I don't want to just vote for somebody just because... Because that's bad. You should vote for somebody because you like the candidate, not just because you don't like the other guy. That's how, that's how I view it, at least. Are you Black Lives Matter? Uh, what does that mean? Oh, the... the statement? Uh, I don't have a problem with the people who are, uh, doing the... the marching and junk. As long as they aren't the violent ones, I don't mind them. That's how I look at it. If they're not causing a disturbance and, you know, looting people's places, which uh, some people do, I don't mind them. They have the right to do it, and, uh, you know, as long as they're not hurting anybody else, which sadly, there are some out there that do, as long as they're not hurting anybody else, I don't really see a problem with it. That's the most I'm going to say about any of the political junk. I want to get back to the game. Myself. What would you do if Crash Bandicoot ran for president? Would you say, oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> would you vote for Crash Bandicoot if he ran? I would. I'd say, man, Crash Bandicoot is gonna, like, make Wampas, like, a thing, you know? It's gonna be, it's gonna be a Wampa economy. Everybody's gonna pay with apples. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's so satisfying when you get all those, um, those little wampas. They're not apples, apparently, by the way. Like, it's like, I don't know, it's like a mix of all the colors, if you notice. Like, it's got the red, the yellow, and the green. So I guess they call it wampa because it's not technically a regular apple. But, I mean, technically, it's basically an apple. Just not by name. That's why I call it Wampa and not Stinky Little Apple. 99 out of 100? Are you fucking kidding me? I missed one. I like, I always do that. Every time. Every fucking time. Like, I swear, cousin. It's like, it's, it's a common thing. Like, it's fine if you miss like four or five, but like when you miss one, it's like, ugh, you know? Like, when, when, when you miss one, it's like, man, I could've actually done it. But, like, you know. It's, it's stinky. Maybe this time, we won't miss one. Maybe, maybe we'll at least get them all. Oh. Hold on. Kinda, kinda fucking that up there. Come on, bounce me up, baby. Thank you. Good, good, good. I believe this level is like an India-themed level. As you could tell by the uh, architecture and uh, the little knife wielding guy, it's got that theme to it. I like I like all the themes. Like they have a an Egyptian level too, which is really neat. A lot, a lot of interesting stuff in it. And then there's your favorite, the scorpions. Everybody loves a good scorpion nowadays. Is that a monkey? Oh my god, it is. All right. Go ahead, monkey. I'm just gonna do that to ya. Like, I know it's kind of rude, but, like, I really feel like that stupid monkey had it coming. He, he ooh-ahed his last ooh-ah, and, like, I just couldn't take it anymore. There we go. Wait, I wonder if I do, like, a slide spin if that does anything. Oh, it does! Okay. Yeah, so if I slide spin, it just automatically gets him. That's good. It really, really does a lot for me. Check a Rooney. 
cool. I got I gotta get to that thing fast because it's about to uh, disappear in two seconds. All right, there we go. Got it. I was scared I was gonna get nothing, but luckily I was able to uh, you know change it up and actually get a thing. Ooh, I like this music. They always have really good remixes when they do the uh, bonus round junk. Ah, oh, stop giving me the little cycle crates. I hate them. No, 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 I gotta get it. Thank you. Thank you, game, for not letting me lose it. That would have been absolutely bad. Oh, fuck. Fuck! I was about to get something. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Oh, that was a life, too. Damn it. Oh, well. At least we got a lot of Wampa, which should also give us a pretty good amount of lives, too. It's not a complete loss, just a semi-loss in the end. Just, just kind of a little bit of a loss. Okay. Obviously, yes! Okay, so, oh, I didn't even do a slide spin, I just slid into him. So it doesn't even take that. That is... Shall we say really good? Ooh. Excuse me, I keep getting the hiccups every time I stream. It's a weird problem. That, uh, you know, happens way too often. No, no, no! Bad monkey! Bad monkey! Hey! Don't be rude! Okay, when I'm trying to get through, you don't just push me. That's a sign that you're being disrespectful and rude, and honestly, I think I'm going to sue. Dude. 95 out of 96, uh, every time. It's always like that one bonus round box that likes hard, that's like hard to get. They always get you with that one. It's a true tragedy. I can't, I can't help America anymore. Hogrod. See, these are my least favorite stages out of all of them. Oh, actually, no, my second least favorite. The only two vehicle stages I don't like are, um, this, and I think maybe the plane levels. Those aren't very fun. Aside from that, I really don't dislike any of the non-platforming levels. A lot of them are okay, honestly. Like, not the greatest, but not the worst, either. Like, the platforming levels are, of course, still the best. They're still the best part of the game, but, um... Um, the vehicle levels are okay because they give you more of a variety in some way. And I know a lot of people dislike the whole idea of having a variety, but it's good. You get, like, a little variety of things you got, you know? I don't think I'm gonna win this, guys. Like, gonna be honest here, might lose this one. Hey! Hey! Buddy! You fucking cunt! You just push me off! Don't you just hate drivers who drive like that? Okay, I gotta restart. It's like, hey... I'm just gonna push you, like, off the road, bitch. That's what they're saying to me. They're saying, I hate America. <laughs> I'm gonna push you off the street. I say, no, please. I'm merely a hog that rides. It's okay, though. This time I'm prepared. I'm prepared to boost now. See, look, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I just boosted in front of these cars. All right, we're in fifth. We're we're doing pretty good. We're winning and we're binning. We're kerplinning too, hopefully. If we don't kerplin, I mean, there's no win from that, of course. All right, we're doing good. We're in third now. I just gotta. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, get away, please. I think I screwed it up. I feel like I did. I hope I didn't, but there's a sh there's a good chance. Please let me pass you, man. Come on. I gotta win! I gotta win! Please! These races are stink. I don't want to do it again. Please. Oh, thank God. Alright. So we just gotta pass this one guy now, which I don't think we're gonna do, sadly. Or we might. Who knows? Oh, fuck. No. No, no, no! No! Ah, fuck. Dude, I was so close to getting him. Like, I was right there. Yes, restart. 
I like that they give you the option rather than uh, just taking you back to the warp room. All right, that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine though. We got close that time. I think next time we just gotta like maybe not go off the track at the point that I did, because that's where I fucked up. You know, if, if I if I maybe maybe relax a little more and maybe actually try to win, I might be able to do it. Who knows? Okay. No. Bad, bad car. Mean, evil car. Stop it, please. I hate these missions, honestly. Like, there's a reason why this is my second least favorite one. Mainly because of this shit. It's like, oh, you want, you want to get past these guys? Well, fuck you. Stop! Ah, you fucking bastard. You little shithead. I hate you. I hate you and everything you stand for. Please, let me beat. Let him. Oh. <sighs> this might take a bit. Just a little bit. Sad part is, is there's like three different race levels in this game. So you know, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm really excited to do a ton of these. Cause I mean, they really make the game. You know. Very the best part, especially when they're nearly impossible to beat. It really adds so much to it, you know? Alrighty. Okay! We're doing okay now. Not epic, but... Not... Not epic, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I think this is supposed to take place in the 50s. Like, it's kind of hard to tell, because, you know, it's just a race stage, but, like, it, it kind of gives off that feel. Let's try to do that. Okay. So now we have a lot of leeway to catch up with this guy. Because we're right at the end, too, so... If we don't catch up with him now, we're not catching up with the boy ever. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we're gonna win! Thank God. Oh, man, I didn't think I was gonna do it. I showed them! I showed them what for. And I win. Alright. Stage 9. It's Tim time, baby! Hell yeah! Good time. Oh, it's Dingle Dial, the best one. He's so Australian. Out of all the characters, Dingle Dial is one of my favorite. I love, I love the Australian characters in games. That's why I love Ty the Tasmanian Tiger so much. It's, it's such an Australian game and it's epic. Especially when they say, you ripper, or you beauty. It's the best. It's the best any video game could ever offer. Ooh. That gator on the other hand, kind of scary. Maybe not the best a video game has to offer. So you got like a little tar here. Oh boy. And I think that's like the ice in the, you know, the snow levels. It's kind of a replacement for that, because this game, as much as it has a lot of level themes, the one thing it doesn't seem to have, which isn't a big deal, is uh, snow levels. But while they don't have snow levels, they do have a lot of other levels that are very creative and uh, different. So, you know, it's not all a, a baddie bad or a loss. It's all A lot of them are still pretty good levels in the end, I'd say. Oh. Yes. Yes, give me all the beautiful boxes. Thank you. I used to think this level and the, you know, the Indian theme level were both, like, the same sort of theme. And I was like, oh, wait, these are different locations. I thought, like, either they both were India or Egypt. And then I realized they both were kind of different. Like, I think they're in, the, like, a close region, but they're, but they're not the same same. Like, there's a, there's a bit of difference. For one, the architecture is a little different in both. And for two, this is in a tomb, and not in a, you know, desert area. It's a little different. No, no, no. Don't get me. Please don't. Oh, look, there's a little cortex thing. That's kind of cool. I like it. 
a little bit of an attention to detail to everything. That's the one thing this remake does well. It has a lot more um, attention to detail when it comes to shit. It's very much better. Oop. Why does my why does the thing keep cutting out? I hope my voice isn't you know cutting out or anything because that would kind of suck. Yeah, they kind of suck because I'd like to you know not have that happen. I'm risking it. I'm getting a free mask. Even if I die right here. Oh, which I just did. Oh, yay. Yay, everybody, I died. I fucking killed myself. I fell off a cliff and I said, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm screaming. Don't, don't squish me, please. I'm just a boy with a toy. Here we go, do a little slide. Slippity slide, baby. Look at that. Ooh. Man, I'm like Sly Cooper. I just like slid right through that. Honestly, I'm really surprised that like none of them shot at me yet. Like I really felt like I was gonna get gotten. Okay. Oh fuck. Give me the thing, please! I need the boxes! I need them! I need them and I need them now! Ooh. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're good. We are golden. Wait. There we go. Yes. Oh, that's a cobra. You know, out of all animals, my least favorite is a snake. I hate snakes. Like, I'm not usually scared of an animal, but if I was, like, near a snake, like, I'd be terrified. It's the only animal that makes me terrified or petrified when I see it. Like, when I see one... Like, I can't move. Like, I can, but, like, it's just so scary I don't want to move, because I don't know what it's going to do to me. And I, like, remember I, uh, I screamed really loud one time when I was in a... It was back at my old house when I was in my yard. And, like, just a snake slithered right through my foot. Like, right over my foot, and I was terrified. It was, like, the worst thing ever. I hated it. And there goes Dead Crash again. Like, spiders, not really a big deal. Cockroaches, kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Snakes, on the other hand, if there's a snake in my house, I would probably be hiding somewhere. I, I'd probably hide in, like, my bed or something where a snake can't get me. Or can it? Luckily, there's probably not snakes here. You know, I haven't seen any in the yard, so, you know, luckily for now, we seem to be pretty good. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I died. I I did it did it dead. <laughs> dead to take it dead. I wonder what game I should do after this. Like if, if I finish it well before the uh, new crash comes out, which uh, it, it, it'll it'll at least be ten days before it comes out. Like when I finish this game, because like it only takes two streams to finish it. It's not too big of a time. Not too big, not too much, I'd say. Because after this, we're going to do the third warp room, and then, um... Uh, yeah, tomorrow it's just going to be the last two, you know? We're very close to getting this game done, already. Oh, we're very close to a checkpoint, too. And that upsets me. Like, I was right there, and I missed it. Like, am I just that bad of a Crash player, everybody? Could somebody tell me, please? Am I, am I just not that good? Wait, ah, oh, I missed it. I missed, dude. We'll get him next time, though. And by next time, I mean never, because I'm probably not going to stream this game again, now that I've already done it for, like, the second time. Like, I've done these games too much now, and, and not, like, the franchise, but, like, just the Crash games in general, like, these specific games. But honestly, I'm probably not going to do them again. Um, maybe unless I'm much older or something. It's going to be a long time, at least, if I ever do this again. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll get the guts to do a, an 100% playthrough of all the crashes, like I did with, uh, you know, Jack. As painful as it would be, I'd, I'd risk doing it. I'd make myself cry to get it done, you know? So that's how it goes. That's how it works, and... Uh, Crash America? No! 
No Donkey Kong barrels, please. I'm not prepared. I can't believe that these dragons are weirdly moving. Alright. Is that guy, like, just literally walking off a cliff? Like, just the way he's walking? Like, where else is he gonna walk to? Right? Unless he's, like, building the bridge? I, I feel like he's, like, about to walk off a cliff, or run off a cliff, for that matter. Like, he's not even walking. I can't even say that. Like, it's literally just, like, running off it. <laughs> Dingo Dios, the name? It's my favorite guy. Or my favorite, uh... Mix animal. See, the cool thing about Dingle Dial is he's both a dingo and a crocodile mixed together. Your penis is mine. Oh. No, not the penguin! Don't do it! Oh, yeah, this is the only snow area in the game. It's uh, this boss fight. I'm happy they brought back the penguin, though, for, you know, this boss specifically. It was a nice little throwback, at least. No. Bad, bad, bad. Very bad. Sorry, hold on. I had to, like, clean my microphone for a second. You know, it's never fun when it's all dirty and junk. No, let me through! That's, a, that's the scariest part when, like, you know, you get him, but, like, you have no way out, almost. It, some, that sometimes happens in this game, and it it is no fun. Can I get up here? Okay, no, I can't. That was worth a shot. Last time I did this, I cheated, and, you know, I don't want to do that again, because I'd feel like a bad human. Oh, oh, fuck! No, no, no! How'd I do that? Holy fuck. Okay, so, he's got his last bit of health left. Hopefully, uh, we can avoid these. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! No! Dingo Dyer, you can't do this to me! Because I can do it to you! I'm a filthy hypocrite! Oh, they added the line! See, it just goes to show how much I played this. I think I remember they did, but like... Um, last time I played this game, right, back when it came out, he didn't say that line. They added that later, which I'm very happy about. Very happy, because that's like a very um, well-known crash line. To uh, to not have it would be very stupid. Oh, yeah, I better save. The other one down there is my uh, autosave file, which, uh, you know, more important. So, you know, we gotta manually save. Yeah. At least now that we saved, we're all good to do these now. Dynamite? Dynamite? I might be a dino, I might not. Haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? It's entropy. Dr. Nefarious Trophy, Master of Time. And Why are you so nefarious, man? The very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade. Charade? So you won't <laughs> be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. I think I will. You're just too stupid to realize that that's what I'm going to do. Like, I, I hate to say it, but, like, I think I'm so much better than, uh, this Dr. N. Poopy guy over here. Like, he thinks he knows everything, but, like, he really doesn't. I feel like I, like, know a lot more. Hey, look, it's Crash. Like, these literally look like Crash. I mean, they look less like Crash now, but in the, uh, original game, they look... In the original game, they look a lot like Crash. What is happening to my mic? God fucking damn it! You mad now? Can't ever have a good mic that lasts for a year, but like like I said, they look like Crash. And and also back to the mic thing. I like be nice to have a mic that could last for a year when like it's sixty dollars, like that's being paid for. You'd think so, but sadly, it's not the case. It just tends to be a shitty mic. That I just gotta deal with, you know? And my voice is just randomly gonna cut out now. The worst part is like I have no way to stop it because like you know, my grandpa doesn't care enough to get me a mic at the moment. He's got more important stuff to worry about, like a stupid wedding. You know, dumb shit like that. Alright. At least, um, after this warp room, that'll be it for this part. 
I don't know. I, I really do need a new mic. Like, honestly. It seems to be a bit of a problem because, like, it, it just slowly breaks, you know? Like, when one thing stops working, the other thing's gonna stop working pretty fast, too. It's, it's like a slow process that kind of sucks. Ooh! It's the dino! Hell yeah! Dude, I can't wait to ride this thing. I love uh, this vehicle section. Not as much as the tiger or the polar bear, but I love it. It's really nice. It's a nice little bonus. Well, not bonus, but it's a nice little extra thing you can do. Because you can basically just ride it to victory at that point. I mean, I mean, what do you think I'm doing? Not riding it to victory? The answer is no, because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm riding it to victory, and I am winning. Thank you. Oh. As I have said before, thank you very much, Dino. How respectful of him, you know? He just gave me a little ride, and he left me there. He left me to die, and I hate that. It, it hurts very much. Nope, oh, bonus round. Right there, he's like, hey, Devin, it's me the bonus round. I've been waiting here for you. Say, I'm sorry. I love you, bonus round. I know you've been waiting for too long, but I love you too, bonus round elevator thing. It makes you always wonder how they function, like... In Crash's world, does the bonus round actually exist? Or is this just Crash's sick mind? Like, like is he going crazy and just thinking about uh, this little bonus area? Like, what's the deal? Yeah, I, I wonder what Crash is doing over here when he does it, you know? Boing! Oh, so this one requires the uh, the big slam. I think this is the only way you get all these boxes if, is if you do the, uh, you know, the little belly slam. Oh. That is not the way to do it! <laughs> That's, in fact, the not good way to do it. Okay. That's fine, we'll redo it. Oh, and there goes my mask, too. That's fun. Thanks for just fucking taking my masks away, dude. I appreciate it, game. It's not like I needed them or anything. It's not like, you know, he was protecting me from death. It's okay. I'll live on without it, hopefully. I hopefully won't cry about losing my mask. I won't go, where well, my mask is gone, please help me. I don't like how of all levels, the motorcycle levels are the ones that have like three whole motorcycle levels. Like, I don't get it. Why why'd you need to have three of the same exact sort of thing, you know? You're literally just driving on a course to win a race, it's stupid. Oh, oh, never mind. I guess I didn't need uh, the regular belly flop thing. Hey, I mean, if it gets me them, I'm happy. No complaints here from me. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. And I say hello to you, Checkpoint Crate. You're looking quite sexy, to be honest. Very, very hot and sexy Checkpoint Crate. Oh no, is this, is this the beginning of Crash's uh, box kink? Has the whole reason he's been spinning the boxes been because, like, you want to fuck them? Is Crash a box fucker? Is this what this all has been leading up to? Because if so, I'm scared. Like, I really thought Crash had a lot of things to him, but honestly, I really think that he was just a mere box fucker. Nothing more, nothing less to the boy. Spit out that crystal, Crash. Do it. Yes. <clears throat> it's like anti bore you know, he's like, he's unboring it out of his mouth. Where's the, where's the next racing thing? I want to get that done with. Oh, it's another underwater one, too. Yeah, this one has some mm, ones. I don't mind the underwater, but like, oh, the bike one, man. It kills me. Oh, so much for fast loading screens. Kind of seem more like a slow loading screen at that point. All right, let's try not to fail at this one. I think we will five or six times at least, but if we can do it, I'd be very happy. Sadly, I don't think it's the case. So like the first one was a daytime theme. This one's a nighttime theme. I think the other one is like a, like a weird sunset theme, which actually looks kind of nice. Because what they do for levels in this, I Crash 2 didn't do this, but this one did it where um, like because they have the same levels, like the same sort of level themes, what they do is they would change the time of day. That way, um, 
and it at least gave the levels a different feel to them, rather than just the same old, you know, this is the same exact level with the same exact time of day. They at least, um, make it a little different, so it's not the same fucking thing. I hope that, like, the new game doesn't have a lot of repeat levels. That'd be kind of stupid. That'd be a no-no. Oh, is that vote for Cortex? Cortex 2020, dude! Cortex for president, baby! Holy fuck! What? Streaming. Okay, cool, I'm streaming. Oh, oh. Thank you. But. Oh, shit. I think that got past me, guys. I might have to redo this. And you all may be wondering, why am I doing the uh, race course first? It's a pretty good reason. Uh, race course is probably the worst one. You know? So I like to get the bad parts over with before I do the, uh, you know, the good ones. And that's what I consider all the, you know, motorcycle racing parts to be. They're, they're not very good. Nope. Could it could use that boost there. You really gotta time them. It's very, very mixed. Mm. Need help? No, Alright. There we go, now we got the boost. It's good that we're close to finishing this, because, you know, I am kind of hungry, and I just now got some food, so, uh, uh, not gonna eat it while I'm doing this, but, uh, ap fuck! After this, I'm going to, um, you know, do a thing. Let's just hope I'm showing respect while I'm streaming, though. I would really appreciate that, since this is one of the few times I, uh, I do streams. And I normally show respect with, uh, respect for myself. Okay. So, the other problem with this race is that, like, we're at a higher position? Or not a higher position, we're, what do you call it? Like, like, the number of the place we're at in the race is higher. Like, it was 7 or 8 um, in the last one. Now it's, like, uh, ninth place. Not not a very good place to be in, but uh, still a place nonetheless. Fuck. I just bounced into him, and now I can't pass him. Oh, come on. Thank you. Thank you. I did it. Luckily for me, though, this course is a bit longer, so there, there's, like, less of a chance of uh, failure here. Not much of less, but a little bit. There, there's a slightly bigger chance of you two make it. But again, we're in fourth place right now. We're not even close to first yet, which uh, is a little scary. Fuck off! Like, how else am I supposed to boost over there unless I, like, bounce right into the back of you? Huh? There's no way. There's literally, there's literally no other way to do it. Except... Ugh. This is why I'm doing it first, because it's the worst part of it. It's the worst part of the game. Honestly, wouldn't mind if they were replaced with something else, because I hate the motorcycle levels. They're the worst. Been on this for like 10 minutes. Luckily after this, though, there's only one more in the final uh, warp room. So hopefully, uh, we, you know, we don't have to do it. That'd be really cool. Alright, I gotta pass, like, as many of these as I can while, um, you know, we're at the beginning of the track and we're not close to the end. Because I need to catch up. I, I don't just have to, I need to. Uh, actually, wait, no, that's the same thing. <laughs> have to, need to. Tomato, tomato. Okay. Hey, Dingo's Diner. Okay. Come on. Come on, we're close. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm trying to focus on this a bit, so that I don't fail- Oh, boy! 
Honestly, that was the first time a vehicle's pushed me ahead of it, so, uh, honestly, not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty happy that I was able to finally pass an annoying vehicle this time. And it doesn't have to be super stink, except for that. That was super stink, for example. But it's okay, we passed him. We passed him! We're good! We're golden, dude! Oh, except here, we're not golden. We were golden, but now we're not. Because these fucking turns! These stupid turns! What? In what world is that, like, a good position to put stuff in? It's not. Never is. Not even one time. Okay, whatever. Hopefully I can pass that guy. Okay, we did. Okay, we gotta pass this one guy now. One more guy, okay? I don't think we're gonna do it, but uh, if we do, that'd be really nice. Oh, looks like we're not. Hey. Or maybe, who knows? We're close. It's a <sighs> God! Ah! Dude, really? You could barely see that pit. Barely. Why would they put this in the game? This is the worst part of it. Oh yeah, you know what they really like? Let's put fucking racing stages in three out of five of the warp rooms. I'm sure they'll have a lot of fun failing like 50 million times. Lots and lots of fun and not being able to boost is also lots and lots of fun. It's gonna take a lot of tries and a lot of screaming. But I'm gonna try to be quiet because I want to be respectful to the other people in the house. I don't want to. I don't want to scream too loud. Cause I would feel a bit rude. Okay. I'm gonna be quiet for this because I gotta focus on it. When I finish it. My voice shall return, I shall say words from my mouth. You guys will be like, wow, that's Devin, he's saying words that are coming out of his mouth. That's really epic, dude. I say I know, right? The fact that I am saying words is indeed epic. Alright. I just gotta not get stuck on the road. Maybe it's the boost that are getting me. I, I gotta stop taking the boost, because like, that last boost I took kind of fucked me over last time. Alright, now we're in fourth, we're doing good. We are golden at the moment. I say at the moment because, you know, anything can change eventually. Not everything is perfect and junk. Do, 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 do. I love the music in this. It's really nice. Well, I love the music in the whole game. It's, it's a very good soundtrack. And that's just, you know, credited to the fact that Crash is epic. Okay. See, look at that. That's why I shouldn't take the boost, because it's a lot better when I don't take it. Okay, whatever. Whatever! You know, it's fine. It's made me do, like, super hard turns that are nearly impossible. It's a really cool game. Really cool! Not like I can do anything about it, you know? Because I can't... Oh, God, get out of my way. Get out of my way! Get out of my way, dude! Please and thank you! Just fuck off, mate! That's all you gotta do! So I gotta fucking do. Okay. Oh boy. There's too many pits. There's too many pits. There's too many fucking pits. How are you supposed to do this? What? What? Really? You're fucking. You're yanking my chain, game. Okay. Tenth try. Let's let's go. Let's hopefully do it. Woo! Very fun. See, this is why I wanted to do this lat at first rather than later, because I know that I'm going to be screaming and frustrated, and I want to do it now so I don't have to do it later. And I can finish the rest of the game without having to scream at it. It's a lot better of a result than, you know, screaming at it for sure, I'd say. Again, I'm going to try to be quiet now. Apologies if you came here for my excellent commentary.
okay. Doing all right. There's no way to avoid that. Like, there's no way. Okay, cool level, very epic. Dude, I don't think I can even beat this at this point. Like, you have to have pinpoint accuracy just to get this dumb fucking crystal. I hate it. You make one small mistake, it's, it's already over. You, you basically just dashed. Hey, yeah, 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 wow, whoa, that's really a big fail, dude, wow. Mm, I'm getting angry. This level makes me want to scream at the top of my lungs so bad. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good now. We're pa we passed him. I, I didn't expect I'd be able to do it, but we just now passed him. All I gotta do now is keep my position. Which, uh, easier said than done, as always. But we'll, we'll see. Like right here, right here, that's probably gonna fuck me up! No, no, no! Oh my god, I gotta do it again! Oh my god, I was right there! I had it! I literally fucking had it! If the respawn time wasn't like god awful, I wouldn't have to deal with that! Why is it so bad? Who the fuck made this shitty level?
Ooh, fuck. Okay, so so now this time I really got I gotta keep it up. Um, when I get to that last pit, I gotta be very careful. Don't boost me, please. I do not want to boost, like especially now. And right here, right here. It's a sharp turn right here. That fucked me over. Thank you. Now we've done it. Okay. Ooh. See, last time I thought it was a really lucky moment, and uh, this time was that actual lucky moment where I got the crystal. It only took me, like, what? Like, 15 t tries or something? Do it? We did it, though! We got the crystal, so honestly, I'm pretty happy. Just took a little bit of, uh, you know, me getting angered to me actually do it. What is it? Let's do that underwater level, too. That, that's another and eh, one. That I want to get done with. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off. I'm not a rat, I swear. I'm just a boy. See what, I do. see what you do? The only thing he could do that would make me terrified is if he gave me a second motorcycle level. Then at that point, I would probably be terrified of him. Because that is intimidating, you know? One motorcycle level is enough to last me a uh, lifetime. <laughs> of other of, of other motorcycle levels, but two? No, me does not understand, nor me want to handle that. All right, got past that. Oh boy, it's all about the timing. You gotta make sure to kind of get it before the little electric things get through. But yeah, we're close to being done with this part now. I'm, I'm very happy we finished the motorcycle level. That that relieves a lot of stress off of me today. Because, you know, that like out of all of them, that's the worst part of it. Um, in any warp room. And maybe the plane levels that are, you know, coming up. They're not too fun either, but they're better than the motorcycle levels. Like, they're annoying, but they're beatable. You know, like, they don't take you minutes upon minutes to actually complete. Like, you actually have a pretty good shot at finishing them, unlike the stinky motorcycle levels that I had to dealt with. Oh, Crystal, hey. We're already at it, so it just goes to show that we're getting pretty well through the game now. Oh. Waiting for the little air things to blow out already. There we go. Yeah, woo! Alright, then we, then we do the little swim up. Cause that's what the game says. Like they're leading me up here with the Wampa, so I kind of expected that. Ooh, there we go. Hey, looky, 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 looky! It's a cookie. And there's a checkpoint. Best thing ever. Honestly, um, thank goodness for checkpoints because that's the that's the big saving grace here of these levels, or of any level, honestly. That's probably also why I don't like the motorcycle levels, because it makes sense, like, I hate it, but, like, it makes sense why they don't have this. Why they, uh, do not have checkpoints, usually, because they're races, you know? It's kind of a one-go thing. So, I understand it, but I also am annoyed at it. I I'm, I'm a little, I'm both, you know? I'm both, I'm both annoyed at the stupid puffer fish, and, you know, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna try to keep this jet ski for that point, because that's when I, uh, seem to really need it. Hopefully, uh, these sharks don't get me this time, though. That would be a no-no. Because, -no. you know, the sharks are pretty bad. They might, they might want to bite my, my feet off. And that would just make them a weird foot fetish person at that point. Don't get me, please. Okay, it didn't get me. We're golden. Alright, see, this is the point I didn't like. Because, like, you see the puffer fish? Like, there's no way you can't get them, you know? Oh, fuck. Ah! I hate it. That's fine, though. We're, we're doing good. Yeah. Normally, this level's a lot longer, because there's, like, a little extra section where you get all the boxes. Um, I'm not doing that, okay? Like, I went through a shitty motorcycle level. I'm not going through a shitty get-all-the-boxes sort of thing, either. I'm just not in the mood for that. <laughs> I'm in the mood to uh, finish this up and eat because I'm hungry. I'm hungry for some Mickey D's, dude. Very, very hungry. There we go. Epic. Oh, I better save. Like, I just realized um, since I got through that, if I don't save, I might have to go through that again. And that's a nightmare scenario, which I don't want to experience. So we're going to save. Yes, yeah, over right. Thank you. 
What percentage are we at now? Oh, 17%. That's pretty hot, dude. I love, I love getting through 17% of the game. It just goes to show, like, how much extra stuff there really is. Because, like, after this, there's only two more warp rooms. So we're, so we're a good ways through the game now. And what that shows you is that, like, there's a lot of extra junk you do after you, um, you know, finish the game. Which is a good thing for a game to have, you know? Especially this game, which I love. I love the game, but, you know, by itself, if you're just going through the levels and it makes sense, it's pretty short, you know? And I know I'm not doing it, like, the p way I should be doing it, which is getting all the boxes and junk. Um, I'm doing it just the casual way. Um... The main intention of the game, though, is to definitely get all the boxes and stuff, get all the gems, get all the time relics. So, like, you're expected to replay the levels, especially if you want to get the 100% uh, ending, which ties into the new game. I'd love to get that ending, but honestly, too much work. Not that the boxes, like, you know, getting all the boxes and getting the gems would be too bad, but um, the relics would be just... They would be hell on earth to have to get all the fucking relics, dude. Oh. That scorpion was very close to getting me. I did not like you. I was I was absolutely t -t -t terrified of them. They made me super scared. Okay. You can tell it's an Indian level and they have flying carpets, you know? Very very well known thing for for the, you know, them. But what? I Ah I jumped on it though. I did the thing! How could I have possibly failed? Huh? What? Kinda sounds like Uncharted music a little bit. Man, that's what they're going for since, uh, you know, this was originally made by Naughty Dog, which, uh, you know, used to be a good company until it wasn't. Yeah. I think this is one of the few times where I'd say I'm happy that Naughty Dog doesn't have their hands on Crash. Like, I'd, I'd, I would have loved for Naughty Dog to make a new one. But honestly, at the rate they're in, I'd rather Vicarious Visions and Toys for Bob work on the Crash games. Like, they did really- Vicarious Visions did really good with this remake, and Toys for Bob so far, from what um, I've seen of the new Crash game, they're doing excellent. I Like, I love what they're doing. Like, all the gameplay, all the junk in it, it looks really good, you know? Like, I'm hopeful. Like, it might not be the best one, but it's definitely gonna make the top three, at least. That's how good I think it's gonna be. It might not be so good, who knows? But I have hope, you know? It's one of the really good things to happen this year. Ooh. Two, three, four, five! Oh god! One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we got all 19 this time. I think this is the first bonus round, uh in a while that we've gotten every box in because I guess I guess I'm just stupid and lazy when it comes to getting all my uh, boxes and gems and junk that's just me you know lazy McDevin pants or should I say lazy McDonald pants because I am now lazy because I want to eat the McDonald's I want the McDonald's in my mouth while it's not super great it's, it, it's not super great McDonald's definitely has some uh, you know, and food, but like it tastes good. You know, it tastes fine. Oh, oh, we missed that platform. I almost missed it pretty bad. Luckily, we're doing pretty good when it comes to it, though. Okay. When it comes down to it, we're kind of winning. You know, we're winning at Crash Bandicoot. I feel like there's a nitro crate behind this. Was my prediction correct? Oh, no. I don't know. I just really felt like they were going to, like, pull a fast one on me and have something like that. Oh, boy. This is my least favorite part. <laughs> the part where they're throwing the machetes at me. That part's the scary part. Ooh. We should be close to finishing up this level, too, because, uh, you know, I can't think of what else they'd want to add here. Aside from more gauntlet-inducing type stuff. I mean, what else could they do, right? Except make me scream at the game. Which, I mean, they always do pretty well, of course. Ooh, okay, that was close. 
That scorpion almost got me. Like it was, it was there. It was almost, almost completely a win for them. And uh, I guess we'll be doing one more level after this. We're gonna go ahead and do the uh, double header level, and then after the double header level, that's gonna be uh, the end trophy boss fight. And after the end trophy boss fight, that's it for the stream. We basically done everything uh, we could have done before. You know, you don't get enough time for the final part. Before, but I never expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back, I will put the thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe. Wait, why would Cortex not expect me to make it this far when I've done it twice already? I made it super far in the original game and beat him. I made it super far in the second one when I was supposedly helping him, and I still beat him too. I think Cortex might need to rethink his uh, evil plans. Let's hope in the new game, you know, for his sake, he he has like a smarter plan going on rather than just uh, pure taking over the world, which is cool. I like it, because it gives the game a reason to happen. But uh, let's hope that like the plot is like more out there. Because, you know, I'd like to see a more interesting crash plot rather than the normal one. Which is fine if they do it. Still do the normal one, because, you know... You don't play crash for the plot. I mainly play it for the gameplay, of course. But it'd be nice if they had a little more of a plot. If they don't, again, not a big deal. It's not going to really ruin the game. But may maybe just some more evil genius plans from the Cortex boy himself would be very well awesome. Ooh, that was almost gonna blow me up. It was very close, but no dice. Oh. There goes my mask. My mask said, bye! Bye, Crash! Bye! I said, Aku Aku, please. Please be my mask. So I, you can cover my face, it could be invincibility. And I could run over the enemy people. Ooh. The wizard. Yeah, what I noticed about these levels is they uh, they add like a little extra enemy every time you get through it, which is pretty neat. I like that kind of theming and that way of level designing. It's really neato. No, don't turn me into a freaky animal, dude. I'm, it's it's not my thing, and honestly, I probably would not look good as a frog. Oh, I, I haven't done this in a long time. I like I like doing that with Crash, it's funny. Oh, I, I see that they kind of changed it up a bit, because I don't recall it raining before. So they, so they are adding, like, more stuff to it, like, in the remake. Yeah, I like the whole, like, raining version of these levels. It, it looks very pretty. And I imagine, again, like I say all the time, that's the point of a remake. Looks more pretty than the uh, original. That's just how it works, you know? Crash original look good, but new game look prettier, because if it didn't look prettier, like, there literally would have been no reason to make it. Seriously. Like, why make a remake if it looks worse? Uh, sadly, some games actually do that. They're called PS4 remasters, and I've I've heard of examples of some games that have like terrible remasters. Like uh, Bioshock's a pretty good example of a game that was just not remastered all that well. Maybe shouldn't have been remastered because you know the original, from what I heard, is better. And there's other games out there too, but I can't I can't recall of what they were. There was some other popular PS3 game that got remade a couple years ago. That was like remade, but like it was a lot worse looking than the original game itself. Funny thing is, like they were saying, um, speaking of like stuff looking bad, they were saying something like that about the new Ratchet and Clank when they showed off the uh, extended footage. They thought, man, they they really dumbed down Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. I looked at it right, and it it didn't really look that dumbed down. Like what I noticed is a lot of stuff looked a lot better. Like the lighting was better. They made a better use of everything. And they added a little bit of fog in different areas. But what I noticed is the added fog 
Um, like, in very far away areas. Not even, like, close enough to where you could have seen it by yourself. But, like, the fog's added because stuff that's closer to you looks a lot better. You little vermin are way too stupid to understand. And if you look at it, you'll notice that they actually made a lot of fixes. I've done a thing! What can I say? His amazing powers come at a price. Now you're on my time, you little no, I'm not! I'm on my own time! <laughs> Shut up, Entrophy! You're bullying me by making fun of me! Ooh. This is an easy peasy boss. Oh, well, you know, crash bosses normally are usually pretty easy. Unless they're like rip or something, then they're kind of hard. Ooh. I almost thought I didn't get him for a second. I mean, I guess it was pretty close to me not getting him. Luckily for me, we're, we're doing okay. Alright, so there I want to do like the crouch, and for the other one, I want to do the jumpy jump. Pretty simple concept, I'd say. Alright, what's he going to do now? What? Oh, these are smaller platforms. That's kind of scary. I don't, I don't like the smaller platforms. <laughs> they make me poop my pants. Oh. I'm prepared for you, Entrophy. Don't think I'm not. I'm smart. I'm a genius. That's why they call me Gene Yevin. Because that's what I am. Oh, okay. He did a lot of those. I, I was. I, he almost got me, too. He's very close. But so, what? 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 Oh, that's fucking bullshit! I hit him, and and because I hit him, that pushes me off the stage and I die. What? What? That's stupid. Okay, I guess I gotta make sure that I'm like way away from the platform then, because like even being a little bit past it is not good. There we go. That's where I wanted to be. I, I gotta be to the side of him next time. That's what I was doing incorrectly, apparently. Apparently, I was doing it not right. The not right way. Alright, do your thing. I already know how you work, Entrophy. I'm not stupid. I'm actually kind of smart. <sighs> this is what happens when I die for stupid reasons, you know? Now it's making me frustrated, and now... I'm gonna do bad at regularly doing it, which makes me look bad at the game. Which I'm not! I swear! I swear I'm a pro! Alright, take the hit. Take the spin to your face! You're saying, ha 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 ha! It's very funny. I really like, uh, Entrophy's humor style. I feel like he should really become a comedian man, you know? See, like, see how it bounces me like that? That spooks me. Alright, shoot them at me. I'm prepared. Okay, uh, wish me luck for this part, because I might do really bad here. I think I'm okay, though. Maybe? Yep. I am golden. Oh, there we go. I thought he was gonna reset for a second. Oh. He became like a little clock thing, that's epic. Yes! This is the best move in the game! I'd say the Wumpazooka, but I think that the little tornado spin that Crash has is, um, one of the best things in it. Then the double jump. The double jump helps a lot. Damn. It's kind of mean. Crash, Coco. You must realize that this time Twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do? Well, maybe you shouldn't have sent him to kill me then. Then I would have had to defeat him. Alrighty then, um, I think that's gonna be it for this stream. In the next stream, we'll be doing the, uh, final two warp rooms, and it'll be the finale of the Insane Trilogy as a whole, not just Crash 3.
But yeah, with that, I had fun playing this. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be back to it in a few days. I'll see you guys in the next stream, and I'm out. Peace.